a special episode of Lime with Ling. I have the couch mom here with me and wow, I'm going to show her how to make something so simple, so easy, so delicious in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> That's where I am just sold. 30 minutes, you promise? Promise. All right, let's get into let's it. Let's mark that time out. Somewhere <laughs> around the here. I'm excited. <laughs> Always when I record, I'm a little nervous to actually yeah, wear it, right? Just let go, of... let go, and just, I'm all, you know, the first episode that I taped, I I was like, okay, this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna get ready, and then I went upstairs to get ready, and I cried. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know why I'm doing this, it's gonna be so hard. I was so nervous. Yeah. And then I just prayed, and we went downstairs, and we taped it. Yeah. We've been just, doing it ever since. Just done, right? <laughs> Done, right? I think it's the same for me, like when nobody thinks it's like serious, but when you're doing it, you're so nervous. You're yeah. just like, oh, just like, oh. But you know what that nerve is? That means that you're onto something. Well, definitely. That's why you, we're doing this. Exactly. If it was just like easy peasy, whatever, then you'd have to question like, what are you really doing? Yeah, like why Why is everyone doing this? Yeah, because that it's nerve hard. and that fear <laughs> is a good thing. It yeah. keeps you focused and it drives you to do well, I, I actually completely agree. That's why I'm doing it. I exactly. find it so fun to do it. And, and it's fun because even like at the end of it, like when you get your first comment and when you it's get like, whoa, and you're like, wow, somebody this. likes yeah, me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have that same feeling. Thank you so much great. for staying tuned. If you guys are missing me in between episodes, you can come check me out on YouTube at Chef Ling. Now back to the story. What do you want me to do? You are going to prep the vegetables because it's like... I can do that. All right, so what you're going to do, I'm going to boil this pasta you're gonna wash these uh, mushrooms, mushrooms. There? Okay. and uh, I like portobello mushrooms because they, they have a really unique flavor. You could use white mushrooms, you could use, you know, white mushrooms are a lot cheaper, so you can use those. So, but let's wash, rinse them here and start to chop them up there. You can use this, that knife set to okay. get any knife you want. Feel at home. Feel at home, all right. And I'm gonna boil the pasta. I have a question. Do it. I was always told not to submerge the mushrooms in water. Is okay. that true? Well, I'm not asking. I just put it in the colander. Uh-huh. And just rinse, rinse it, it up off. a little bit. Exactly. So do you want me to chop first and then rinse or rinse and rinse then chop? Rinse first and then chop. All right. All right. I got it. Let's do it. I'm gonna get like a... I think so. I'm gonna get something small. I don't wanna cut my finger off. Well, I'll watch you, and then if you need any help, I'll, I'll give me this one. Yeah, this one? Yeah, that's it. So I'm here for moral support, so if you need any help, for sure. I'm right here. Do you mind if I talk to you? Or? I, well, that's what I hope. I hope yeah? you talk to me. Because I don't want to distract you. I don't want to burn everything. Oh, but I'm just boiling <laughs> water right now. I can't burn much. <laughs> so you said wash first wash and then first. chop. Yes. Do you want me to do all of them? I, w I think we should do like four. Four of them. Okay. Yeah. I'll pick my favorite four. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, all right. All right. So just a quick rinse. Quick rinse, yeah. And then chop them. How fine do you want me to chop them? I want them to be a little bit fine. I'm going to show you exactly how I want them. Okay. And then you can cut them. I'm going to put that in the wicked, That's good? Wicked. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. All right. Now just put that one up there and then take out one. I'll show you how to cut, how I like to cut them for this recipe. Just slice. I don't bother with this. Okay. We could, no big deal. Good eat it. And then just want to turn it and give it one slice down the center. I'm going to do my best. Well, I'm, don't worry, I know you could do <laughs> better than chef. me. I you are the gonna, chef, not me. I just going to... So do you I, want these back yeah, in there? Yeah, put them back in there. Yeah. You saw how I did that, right? Oh. I, I, Beautiful. I beautiful. have a I have a little bit of skill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not that bad, but that's um good, that's good. I, can I am see by it. no means a chef. So you said Yes. That's a that's good? Done. You got it. All now right. just pull out that center part. You do, I don't like the bottom of that. Oh Ooh, yeah. Should I have done that? No, it's like, things happen in <laughs> real life, you know? That's real life. If I cut it out, maybe that will be better. Beautiful. There you go. Thank you. Alright. 
So you said these are portobello mushrooms? Portobello mushrooms, yes. They, they smell really good. This is actually like my favorite for this recipe yeah. because it actually brings a different flavor than a white mushroom would. That's so cool. So what got you started with cooking and being in the kitchen? Well, to be honest, I opened a restaurant by mistake. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I opened a restaurant because my friend said he was a chef. Okay. And I had like money at the time. So I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's open this restaurant. And okay. he, he couldn't cook. So, so I had over? this business that I... <laughs> I um, had and I was like, yo, going along the line when I got on, like, when MasterChef Canada, they actually got in contact with me. Wait a second. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. MasterChef Canada? They contacted so me. So you're like a celebrity No, celebrity. no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody and nobody. Oh, don't, my. don't forget to one more cut. Oh, we do one more yeah, cut. Yeah, one That's more right. cut. There one you go. Cut. I don't want okay. it to be too big. Too big. So okay. they're eating just mushrooms. That's right. Are these cut enough? Yeah. Maybe I should like. Well, it's like, ooh, that's a real professional move there. Right? right? Yeah. Wow. I got a little bit of skill. Ooh. I'm not that bad. <laughs> I mean, I have kids, so I have you to have do to, something, right? You have right? to, you have to, yes. So you're saying MasterChef Canada contacted you? Yes, to, well, to audition, right? They're yeah. Like, oh, we, we're... So how do they hear about you? I have no idea. Wow. I think that's so cool. And you downplay that like it's not a big deal. To me, that's a big deal. Well, I, I don't want to like say like, oh, this is this. Like, I just want to prove it more than like say anything. You know Listen, I mean? this is about to be a wisdom for Wednesday. <laughs> you better start to like shout it from the rooftop. When you got it, you got it. <laughs> like you're, you're a whole chef. Yeah, I, I earned it. I think that you've earned it because you have to tell me after you eat. If I, well, it. <laughs> if I, if I eat with my eyes and sometimes I do, okay. I've seen you cook some things on your <laughs> channel. And I'm just excited, like, that's why I came, because I was like, listen, we're skipping dinner, we're going to do this episode with Ling, and yeah. we're going to eat good. Well, I'm so happy that you <laughs> so came, here we are. because um, I think you're going to like it, I really do. All right. So I'm going to pull this away. Okay. And we just want to take the chicken here. I made up uh, my green seasoning here. Is that what smells so good? It does. It, this mm. is have real pimento, shadow benny, um... Don't Got give away it. all your secrets. I, but I have to because I have to teach them how to cook or they won't want to subscribe. <laughs> I get it. So. So go ahead and uh, we're going to add that to the chicken. Just, um, just yeah. Oh, oh, actually, I'm going to give you a, I don't want you to. Now, you could um, like rub it in with your hands. Mm -hmm. That would give you like the best, you know. Well, I'm not afraid. I'll do it. Oh, rub it in with your hands then because then we're going to be eating good. All right. Well, that's why I came, right? I want to eat good. Well, you can be both and I wanna, still good. <laughs> I want to learn so that when I get home, I can make it for myself, right? Well, this one, you're going to be able to make it for yourself and you're going to be so surprised at how much flavor this food's going to have in such short time. Well, based on the smell alone, I'm like, wow, it smells so good. Is it a little scary? It's not scary. I just wonder, are you putting any more seasoning on this stuff? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. We have here a 21 seasoning yeah. that we that I really really like okay so we're just gonna put that on and you do that just by I you don't this is about a tablespoon okay you don't need to use this if you don't have anything like this you can use um, a little bit of dry thyme a little bit of oregano a little bit of um, you know jira for me I like jira because it's Caribbean but you don't okay. need to it's just whatever you whatever flavors that you like that's what you use yeah all right <laughs> cool also a little so red. that you want me to keep rubbing? No, I think you 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 made it Good. quite rubbed in. All right. Oh, they, we didn't add salt. We need salt. We need a little bit of salt. We need salt because salt's like a important I think. And you just eyeball that. Too. That you have to eyeball, yeah. Don't, don't put too much though, because it's bad for you. <laughs> All so right. what is your uh, favorite dish to make? I like roti. Why didn't we make roti? Well, it's a 30 minute thing. I didn't want to see leave you having here for your husband waiting for an hour and a half bacon roti. I think he would have waited for the roti. <laughs> we're roti people. Really? Okay, so. Oh, we're doing this again then? We're about to schedule a new episode of Live with Ling. <laughs> I promise you that we're going to do that next time. We have to. We have to. Oh my, I would have loved that. Okay, well. Okay, but this is also going to be good. Not better. to downplay the chicken. The chicken is great. 
but that just means we have to come back. Well, that's what I wanted. So I have to like lure you <laughs> oh, in for the next time, right? You're smart. Yeah, you're smart. Well, I have All to. right, so with the chicken. So this one, we're just going to leave it to the side. We don't have to put it right in the fridge because okay. we're going to be cooking it very soon. All right. If you have some more extra time, it's good to do this before mm -hmm. and like leave it in the fridge okay. for like 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. But don't worry. It's still going to be fire. All right. All right. So uh, I'm going to leave you here now to cube this. All right. And try your best to take the time off. Take it off the stem. Yeah. When I cube this, do you, is this washed? Should I wash it? Yeah, definitely. I have to okay. wash it. I'm going to put this cotton board here. I'm going to turn it around. Ooh, no, it's ugly on that side. That's okay. We can wipe that off. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's all one dish, right? It's one, yeah. So yeah, we'll make it look a little pretty. <laughs> all right, so all here right. you go. I'm going to give you another one. Nice. Good enough knife for that. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, put it on the table. That was superstitious. Oh, what does that mean? If I give you the knife, we're cutting our friendship. <gasps> Where did you learn that? Ah, don't worry about it. It's not even important. It's like some Caribbean <laughs> thing. So what I'm gonna do here, um, while that while you're chopping up that, mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some pasta to it that order. You want me to cube this? Yes, cube it. Fine? Uh, fine's good, yeah. I'm gonna do my best. I'm here, don't worry. <laughs> I won't let anything happen. You know, when I used to work in Wendy's? Yeah. No, it wasn't Wendy's. I used to work in Tim Hortons. Uh -huh. And they had a slicer, a tomato slicer. Mm -hmm. And I think that was my favorite thing to do. Just Cut slice tomato. tomatoes. Really? But it's because the machine did it and they came out all perfect. Like just with the push it down yes. thing? Yes. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I want to buy a slicer. <laughs> but I don't really eat tomatoes like that, so it would have been a waste of money. No, I don't think anyone really eats tomatoes like that. I mean... Maybe. Maybe. If Italian, like if you do a lot of pastas. Yeah, you'd probably use a lot of tomatoes, right? Yeah. Is this, sm is this small enough? That's literally perfect. Okay. I'm trying to know. If you need a job as a sous chef, you could apply. How much you paying? No, not, not <laughs> enough to afford you, I think. But like maybe. <laughs> oh man, I would come and help you out in the kitchen any day if it Ooh. meant that I got to eat some of the fun foods. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Like that's what I do. I just, I just go around and I eat. That's great. A little bit too much action here, so I'm gonna do this All right. So the pasta is already boiling? It's already boiling and what I did was add a little bit of uh, oil okay. and a touch of salt. Alright, where do you put the, the chill? No, this is in here. Okay. This is garbage right there. That's the link garbage. Alright. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit more salt. Okay. On the side here. So, what so I just put here? this pot on high. Okay. Alright. And now I'm going to just put a little bit of butter inside the pan. All right. All right. So that's this butter here. Okay, that's just not good enough. Put it away. That's that butter. So let's cut off about that much of it and take the paper off for me. Okay. What's the difference between using butter or margarine? Um. Oh, there's actually a big difference. Yeah. Like butter is uh, has a very distinct taste. It really enhances the flavor of the chicken. I didn't know that. But you don't have to. Like yeah. if you find it like not to your liking, yeah. you could, if you don't like taste of butter or like you don't like butter, don't yeah. use it. Okay. Use margarine. But okay. let you tell me if you like butter over margarine. This will be a whole different test. Sometimes you know I'm in the grocery store and I buy whatever's on sale and I didn't even know that it made a difference. I thought it was just like if you're baking. Um, well butter you will see. Okay. So it's, so it's, 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 it's it really is different. Um, I I look for things on sale too, actually. Yeah. I, if if butter's on sale, I'll buy a, a few. Okay. Know? That's how I do it because you know margarine's always on sale. Margarine's good though. Like, don't get me wrong. Mm. So what I'm gonna do is through this time, we're not even gonna take it off the stem it off? Okay. because um, we're just gonna pull it out afterwards. afterwards. Okay. Yeah. okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting the chicken. Look at that color. It's beautiful. Right. How do you get it the color like that? What so do you fast? It, I didn't do it. You were right there. Is the butter good? The, the, the butter wow. is really what, 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 what gives you that's that That's amazing. That look. Okay. But that's kind of what we want. We're not going to cook it in this pan oh. all the way through. What we're going to do right now is take it out. Yeah. And then we're going to make our pasta for it. Okay. Boom, boom. And boom, 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 boom. boom. Super 
super simple, right? Yeah, it looks very easy. And it's like, you don't need much, and you eat it in 15 minutes. Wow. And like, very few ingredients. You don't very few, a lot. very few, very few. But when you taste it, I promise it won't taste like a flag. Okay. If I were to just do it separate pots, I'd be done faster. Yeah. But it, the flavor is not going to be anywhere near what, what it should be. The sauce completely. Okay. If I were to just do it separate pots, I'd be done faster. Yeah. But it, the flavor is not going to be anywhere near what it, what it should be. Right. It doesn't take much ingredients to make good food. It just takes the right processes right. and the right love. Because if you don't give like anything, like if you make YouTube videos and you don't put love into it, nobody's gonna watch. Right? That's right. Oh, come on now. Ah, I just went to see myself. Do a little wisdom <laughs> one day. Okay. I'll try it, I'll try it. So then I'm gonna retire and oh, make. I need you here to see my. Okay, so right now I, I took it off because this is the correct doneness we want. It's not very right. cooked. Okay. Yes, but um, it's pretty, pretty good. Alright. So I'm just gonna take it out. I'm gonna put it on a plate. I turn off the stove in the meanwhile. Yeah. Right? Because you don't want the pot to get too hot because we're going to be adding a bunch of other stuff now. Okay. Really take a look at that. Wow. So good. Well, actually, you made pretty much all of this, right? I just <laughs> held it at this point. There you go. Perfect. Right? That's so beautiful. I wish you could, like, smell. It smells so good. So we just leave this off to the yeah, side? Yeah, on the side now. Right. We don't need it right now. What we're going to be doing is making our sauce. Okay. Okay, so now we have all those. I turn the stove off because okay. I want it to cool down a little bit. Okay. You don't want it to be too hot at this time because we're going to be adding cream. And it will burn? And no, it could curdle. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. Facts that is weird to know. Yeah, let me ask you this. I'm so scared How I hope I know the answer. <laughs> Alright, let's go. How come if you put the cream on like a coffee, it doesn't curdle. But Sometimes it does. Yeah. I've seen it happen. It depends on the temperature of the coffee, actually. Oh. Okay. I've actually personally seen it happen, so I knew it could happen. So. That is so weird. Right? It's funny the things that we drink. Right, yeah. <laughs> I have coffee too if you want to pour the Bella mushroom first inside In there. before we add anything else. Okay. So that's these guys that's here. This, but we turn the heat off, huh? there's no more heat in it. So you just add the pour the Bella mushroom. Yeah. I'm gonna cook tomato. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? While I'm doing this, mm -hmm. if you could grate this cheese for me. I can, yeah. That way, you'll be like getting crazy as quickly as you can. Alright. So I'll take that. that. With this, with this. And I'm gonna just turn this and add a little salt. So don't, don't forget that part when you're so cooking you it at home. home. Yeah. Okay. You want this whole block? I don't know. How much cheese do you guys want? I love cheese. Oh, then yes, we need the whole block. Go. I was so interested in the chicken that I almost forgot about the cheese part. Oh, no, we need <laughs> cheese. And, and that, what you have there is a little bit of an older cheese. Okay. So it's going to bring out more uh, of the flavor of the pasta. Okay. But again, doesn't matter. What type of cheese is it? Just, Just an old mozzarella. Oh, uh, no, old cheddar, sorry. Old cheddar, okay. My substitution would be just straight mozzarella. Yeah. Because I like mozzarella as like a kid. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh, the cream is here. So now that the, the portobello mushroom is just like... That looks so good. Right? Just so you don't want to be like cooked too much. Just yeah. a little bit brown. Okay. And now we want to add the cream. And there's still no heat there. No heat. No heat at all. Oh, that's just the heat from, from before. before. Yeah. You see, I always thought you to cook, you need to have the stove on the whole time. You could. Yeah. <laughs> it will probably. It, it wouldn't be as good. Ah. It's just the processes. <laughs> I remember I was telling like the ingredients are so 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 simple, right? But the but process. It's the process and and just taking your time and it's not long. So 30 minutes. we're actually like spitting out very good Wednesday content. The process. Trust. Maybe process. I should meet you on the couch one way. Maybe. <laughs> I think I'd have a lot of mamas that would be a little jealous that Ling made it on the couch before them. Oh boy. <laughs> but I think that would be an excellent idea. We have to keep them jealous a little bit. 
So um, right now, um, what I've done here is just add the cream. So I haven't done anything yet. I haven't turned the heat back on. Mm -hmm. But I want to turn it back on to medium now. Okay. Because I want to start to get it to a boil, uh, like not a boil, but a, a rolling boil. Okay. And I'm gonna add this tomato to give it the rosy taste now. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to use this, you could use um, like canned tomato. Okay. But I don't like canned stuff, really, to be honest. Um, for fresh. I like, yeah. And it's not more money, it's just a touch more time. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll cut all the cutting of the, the, veg, the veg and stuff. So is tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I would say it's a fruit because that's what Google says, but I really don't know, to be honest. I think that's like a timeless argument yeah. is it a fruit or is it a vegetable exactly are we putting this to the side or right next to the, the thing and we're gonna just cut this avocado now because we want something to make it look very sexy when we plate it okay how do you want this cut just in okay. half? oh let me show you this one because right. it's um really really simple you just want to take the knife go all the way around mm -hmm. right and then just turn it right wow and you can just take the core out by taking the, the knife and pull it out. Okay. Okay, and then after you, what you could do is just slice down the center, say like that. If you don't feel comfortable with doing it in your like with your in your hand, you could just cut down so. Okay. And then you'll use a um, a spoon mm -hmm. and pull out the. So let me ask you, how do you choose your avocado in the store? Woo. It depends. If you want to eat the avocado right away, I'll pick a soft one. Okay. But if you want to eat the avocado in a, a week or so, I'll get a harder one. Because it will ripe. Ripe on. Ripe on. Yeah. All right. All right. There you go. Yeah. And you want to try? I will. There Let you me go. try that with the knife first. Knife first. In your hand. Wow. I don't have to even watch. I have to score it all the way through. All the way through. But don't go through and cut your hand. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit more now. Okay. It looks good. Right. I love the look of the tomato in there. I really like when food has color. I don't like to cook without color. Everyone needs a little color in their I lives. I think you said that in your last episode. Everyone needs color in their lives. Yeah. Right? I don't think I did this good. You did good. That's not bad. And then you did oh. this. Well, that's just for fanciness. You don't have to do that. I don't want to be a little fancy too. <laughs> I can't ha have you just be taking fancy all the fancy. On your own. Oh, okay, we have to do it together. That's good, right? Perfect. So right. now what I want to. All right. What's next? Nothing. We're just chilling. We're just waiting. We're just having a good time. Well, hanging we out. should just get That's... our wine. I think so. So tell me a little bit about what made you want to start doing this YouTube channel. Well, as you know, I'm a mom. I have two little kids, and those guys mean everything to me but they made me so tired it started with my son and because I was just so tired and I felt almost like I was just fading away fading away yeah, yeah and I was like well what is this motherhood thing right yeah and I remember just being really really exhausted and not wanting to do anything yeah I just pretty much used motherhood as an excuse not to do anything. I didn't do anything with my purpose. I didn't do anything with my talent. I didn't do any of the things that God called me to do. I was just. By the way, I watched stuff. all your YouTube episodes and you? you're very talented. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I needed to stop you there and tell you that because it's really, really important. Everybody from my page, please go over and check out. I actually think that um, it's a competition and she's winning. <laughs> but that's why I started because I felt like. If I can find the voice of God to help me to get off the couch, yeah. I need to do the same for other women, other moms who are just tired and don't know how to get started. That's actually so. so inspirational, to be honest. Thank you. I actually find that really, really inspirational. What I want to do is rinse this because I want to put the pasta in there. Okay. We're almost eating. How long was that? I don't even think it was like 20 minutes yet. Oh boy. 28 minutes. Oh, I only have two minutes left. Let's go. All right. Okay. Quickly. Quickly. I'm actually taking my time hanging out too, though. Does that count? Oh yeah. And we can we can deduct the hanging out time. Okay. Good. <laughs> good. I feel like that's not fair. <laughs> so let's put that in here. So. 
Wow, that looks so good. How do you know it's cooked right? Um, well, a little bit of experience, but what you could do mm -hmm. um, is, yeah, I'll take a one and taste it and see if it's not, um, like, the texture. Okay. You want it to be al dente, you want it to be a little bit, uh, you know, firm. Okay. But for me, this is just experience. I know that it's cooked based on the, 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 look, of the look of it. Yeah. Okay. Right? So what you want to do is not drip all over the floor <laughs> and put that in there. It might be too much pasta. Okay. It's always good to have extras. Well, that's for me. <laughs> okay, now we just want to mix that in. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Alright? Yeah. Now we're going to add the chicken. The chicken. Do you cut it? Do you leave no, it? I'm not okay. cutting it. I'm going to use it for plating afterwards. But okay. See that juice that came out when it was resting? Yes. Add that in. Okay. All that is flavor that you're not gonna forget. After you leave, you're gonna be like, wow, you're yeah. a chicken boy. <laughs> okay, and then it's not on anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna cover it. And let this steam do the rest. Finished. I have learned something today. First of all, you're hanging out more and cooking, right? I think so. I think so. I feel like. I am gonna go home and become like a master chef. I feel like it's not hot. I mean, I think it's overnight. <laughs> we're probably gonna eat chicken a lot, but right. I think so. I think after when you come back next time and make the roti, you're gonna be like, wow, this is not actually that hot. And then you won't buy it. I anymore, have never but still made. <laughs> You're funny. I have never made roti from scratch. I can't wait to show you because is it's it actually, easy? It's not. But if, I <laughs> but if I show you, it's gonna be easy. If I show you like, a, I show you like simplified ways okay. to like make it easier. And when did you start making roti? Is that like something that you learned as a child? Or? I learned as a child, but I wasn't good until like seven months ago. Because it's a real specific procedure. And my parents, they make decent roti, but not as good as like, not with, it really should be like, boss up shot roti should have all the flakes coming out. Boss and... up shot. <laughs> you thought I didn't know what you just said. <laughs> Listen, I want to know how you put the doll in the roti. Okay, well that's what we have to do next time. It's, it's a whole ball in the You heard it here right on the set of happening. Lime with Ling. I'm coming back to learn how to make roti with a doll. Take a bite. I'm actually going to eat this thing. So I'm about to sit down and try this and I think that it's going to be amazing. Just by looking at it, I can already tell that I'm going to love it. So. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm not gonna be like those food channels and just toss the first. So the pasta like soaked up all of the, like this is, this is crazy. I wish you guys could taste this, it's so good. I'm not about to sit here and play you like I'm not about to dig into this food. They might do it differently on TV where they just take a little bite and push it to the side. I'm about to eat. <laughs> like eat. Like this is really good. And I'm trying to be fancy with my knife and fork. Like I would like to shovel this in my face. It's so good. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Line with Ling. I am so honored to have this beautiful woman come and try my food and her amazing husband wow you guys inspire me and i thank you very much i'm excited this is amazing and anytime you want us to come back we'll be here this well, is so good well we have that rookie thing we have to do now absolutely we already said it so it's already a final plan so do you want to let them know that they gotta subscribe or? Well, if they don't subscribe we won't do it tell them if you don't subscribe, you won't do it. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, and I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to press the like button and comment down below. And go and subscribe, sub go and subscribe to Couch Mom because I actually do watch her videos and I don't watch very many. You heard it here. Let's go. Cool. <laughs>